welcome. And when we had that snow batch came in yesterday or this morning, last night and this morning, the first thing I thought of was, oh, no, because I could just feel the fact that we were going to see a lot of traffic accidents, unfortunately, mm -hmm. because that's what happens when you get slick roads out there. So let's talk a little bit about the weather for this evening because we did see the snow. It melted. We have a little bit of leftover moisture. Some of those roads will have some patchy slick spots on into the overnight and tomorrow morning, so watch for those. You can see temperatures are well below the freezing mark right now. It's 22 degrees here in Oklahoma City. In Alva, it's 18. We've got 25 Ada, 22 in Stillwater. Temperatures have quickly fallen because we've got that mostly clear sky. Lows tonight drop down to about 12 degrees here in Oklahoma City. If you're in Stillwater, it's 14. Alva, 11. Woodward gets to 12 and even some single digits in far southwestern Oklahoma. Nonetheless, we know tomorrow morning is going to be downright cold outside. I want to show you the forecast here in detail for the metro. We'll have a wind out of the northwest at about 5 to 15 miles per hour with a mostly clear sky. 8 o'clock temperature is only 16 degrees and when you factor in a wind at about 5 to 10, it'll make for some single digit wind chills here despite that sunshine. And the sunshine will continue. Noon temperatures at 32. West-northwest winds at 10. They'll turn more towards the southwest late in the day. Temperatures get to the upper 30s and near 40, but falling right back down to 34 degrees at 5 o'clock. So let's show you predictor temperatures. Here they are, single-digit wind chills here around a lot of the state. 11 is what it's going to feel like in Seminole, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. We fast-forward to 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Notice temperatures feeling like the 30s across the majority of the state. Alba, Enid in the upper 20s. And then 8 o'clock tomorrow night, feeling like the 30s across a lot of the state, the main body of the state. So bundle up. That's going to be the big story, the cold. Now we're tracking our next storm system. It's right off the coast of California right now. It dives down to the south and eventually gets here Sunday night into Monday morning. That'll be our next chance of some moisture here in Oklahoma. Predictor, 7 o'clock this morning, Saturday morning. We're looking at uh, dry conditions and then a lot of sunshine on into the afternoon for your Saturday. And then we fast forward again to, we're looking at Sunday afternoon, mostly cloudy. I want to show you the moisture that comes in here, though, from the southwest at 9 o'clock on into Monday. A lot of models are hinting that this is going to be mainly rain, although far northwestern Oklahoma will see a little bit of freezing weather as well as a potential for some snow for Monday afternoon. So... Let's show you the setup for Sunday night. This is preliminary, far northwestern Oklahoma, places like Clinton, on into Woodward, the Panhandle, potentially some freezing rain. It'll be rain here for much of the rest of the state, including Oklahoma City. Again, that is Sunday night. Then Monday around noon, sleet will be mixing with a little bit of snow in northwestern Oklahoma. There will be this little area right here around Clinton and northeast for some rain and snow. Rain here in the metro. Some models even hit about a quarter to a half an inch with some isolated higher totals from Sunday night into Monday night. This cold front coming in in the evening for us here in the metro Monday, that will make a big difference depending on what we're going to see here. So if the cold front comes in a lot sooner, this could all change. So this is something we'll definitely be watching right now, though, for the metro and across a lot of the state. Looks like rain. Highs tomorrow, upper 30s. Low 40s around the state, and then Sunday we jump to the low 40s again. 42 degrees, 43 for Alva, 44 in Ponca, 38 in Woodward. Looks like New Year's Day is dry, 35, and thereafter dry as well. And you're up to date with the latest first alert.